Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever on this channel, first time ever, we're talking the NHL. And well, the All Star break has come and gone. Tomorrow, the games will begin again. Tomorrow, we continue to push towards the NHL playoffs, towards the Stanley Cup playoffs. And boy, oh boy, honestly, this, t this took way too long for me to come into, man. These games so far that I've been watching have been electric. The All-Star games yesterday, notwithstanding, I don't watch All-Star games, as we all know. Um, so I asked that first question because, um, you know, you have some Canadian teams just kind of sneaking in there, you know. Um, you know, it's been over 30 years, but hey. Definitely some possibilities, you know, since we're now into February and things are just ramping up. You have Nikita Kucherov, you know, and the, and the rest of Tampa Bay Lightning just absolutely looking fantabulous. I mean, they're top three in the Atlantic right now with Boston, of course, Pasternak and company, you know, leading the charge for Boston, the team that went to the NHL, you know, to the, to the finals, to the Stanley Cup final last year in Florida, you know, second in the Atlantic uh, Metropolitan, uh, defensive-minded Carolina. Of course, the Rangers lead the Metropolitan and Philadelphia. So, again, it, it's not, you know, it's not as clear-cut as you think. Most teams have played about 46 to 50 games so far. So most teams have, like, 30, anywhere between like 35 ish games left. It's just somewhere around that range. So we still got a little bit of time. So we're a little bit over halfway through. And I mean, it's a log jam right now. You know, when it comes to the East, you know, absolute, it, it's going to be a dogfight for those wild card spots right now. Um, you have Toronto and Detroit bringing up the rear for the wild cards. With the Islanders, Pittsburgh, uh, the Devils, of New Jersey, close behind Washington, you know, who's also a pretty interesting team to keep an eye on. You know, there, there's lots of storylines going on. Of course, there were some arrests being made or something that happened overseas. But I don't know the details of all that, to be completely honest with you. Um, you know, and the atmosphere... For the NHL has been electric. It's just been electric. And we're not even going to talk about the West, you know, just yet. The atmosphere has been electric for the couple of games that I have been able to watch in full. Keep in mind, I get really busy on the weekends. Keep in mind, you know, when it comes to watching sports. So the NHL will have definitely have my attention on these next few Saturdays going forward. Of course, I watched the Capitals game on the 13th. Uh, I think they played – who did they play on the 13th? I can't remember. I think it was the Rangers they played on the 13th. Um, that was the ABC game. Of course, there's some TNT games you know, on Sundays coming up down the line as college basketball is winding down. The NBA starting to wind down too. Of course, you know, everything's starting to wind down as we head, you know, we can finally – you know, the NHL can finally have the limelight it so deserves, you know. You know, it's definitely an underrated league, to be completely honest with you. Definitely way better than the NBA. I mean, um, things I do like, you know, the point system, I know it's not perfect, but I do like it. It's not perfect, again, because of the whole overtime aspect to it. That's what people kind of get, you know, eh about, you know, the overtime aspect of it. But, uh, yeah. I really like it. I really like the point system. Again, it's similar to, you know, indoor football, box across, and that, you know, it's easy to, you know, kind of get into in a way, especially with the whole box lacrosse connection. It's really, really easy to get into the NHL. So, like, the rules are pretty simple. Um, you know, everything's pretty simple. There's trades going on that are really interesting, like Elias Lindholm getting triggered to Calgary. He got traded a couple days ago. Um, and then, of course, the West. Of course, you know, for me, I'm in B 
Big D, I'm in Dallas. So, of course, going to be sporting the Dallas Stars all the way. Um, and they're second in the Central behind the Colorado Avalanche, who won the Stanley Cup just a couple of years ago. And of course, Winnipeg right behind them. You didn't, you didn't think a team like Winnipeg would be behind them, but with the 65 points they have, you know, just again, West looks like it's going to be a dogfight, especially with the Vancouver Canucks leading the way. The new boys down the block, you know, led by Aiden Hill, Mark So, and company. Of course, Edmonton with Kane and all, all those guys. The Oilers, definitely a solid, solid bunch. And, of course, bringing up the rear in the wild card right now are the L.A. Kings and the St. Louis Blues. But don't forget about teams like Nashville. And, again, just a, because of the point system, things are very much – nobody's dead yet. So unlike the NBA where it's very clear that there's some teams that should not be competing, you know, right now, you know, just at all, like there's teams like the Wizards, there's teams like the Spurs, the Pistons, you know, that are just absolutely awful, awful, awful teams, you know, to even be at the Hornets as well. Don't forget about the Hornets. You know, there's just some awful, awful teams. You really can't say that about the NHL. You really can't say that. I mean, yeah, Chicago is not good at all. But, I mean, Connor Bedard is Connor Bedard, you know. He's definitely played his heart out this year so far. And then, of course, teams like Columbus, maybe Ottawa, that aren't very good either. But, I mean, again, they're in the race, technically. A lot of teams are in the race for at least a wild card spot, you know. So the way the NHL is set up, I'm liking it, and I'm going to be watching as many games as I can down the line. Definitely we'll get back more to you with more, you know, right now. You know, I can't really say too much right now because I haven't watched as much yet, but I do know that I'm liking what I'm seeing, and I want to know what you guys think. And hopefully this will bring in some new people as well, you know, because contrary to popular belief, you know, for whatever reason, you know, I don't see as much talk on the timeline about the NHL and stuff like that. But it will ramp up with me, you know, just kind of going through my Twitter weekly Saturday and Sunday threads. It'll definitely go. It'll definitely keep going. Um, of course, the stadium series is in a couple weeks. The the two games uh, out in uh, MetLife, I think, that are in a couple weeks uh, with the uh, the Devils and the Flyers, and then the uh, the Rangers Islanders games. Those are going to be very fun. Um, and then, you know, there's just big time games. You know, throughout the rest of the season, you just have to. Be able to find them, of course. You know, of course, ESPN, TNT, they're absolutely great partners, you know, for the NHL right now. And I think it just it just all works out perfectly for the NHL. Um, and, and I mean, the push to playoffs will intensify as we, you know, converge from this break. Can't wait to. Talk to you all again, you know, with hopefully more to actually say than what I have said. But again, my first impressions of the sport, of the sport of hockey, I love it. Love it. We'll, we'll keep on going. So I'll see you all next Sunday night, you know, a little bit after, maybe a little bit after 8.30ish, 9 o'clock to talk who won the Super Bowl. <laughs> Oh boy, can't wait for that. Cannot wait for that, you know, discussion because it it just might piss some people off. But yeah, that'll do it for me. Um, next few weeks, you'll definitely be seeing a lot of Sunday videos from me. So yeah, um, big boy signing out. Peace.